The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. Five, four, three. And the RS-68 engines roar to life and lift off of the United Launch Alliance. Delta Three RS-68 first stage engines ignite to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, the Delta IV begins its initial pitch and yaw maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile. At 82 seconds, the vehicle experiences maximum dynamic pressure. The Delta IV is now traveling at Mach 1, the speed of sound. At 3 minutes 53 seconds, the port and starboard CBCs are throttled down. Three seconds later, the strap-on CBC engines are shut down. At 3 minutes 58 seconds, the port and starboard CBCs are jettisoned. The center CBC is immediately throttled to full power to maximize performance. Approaching main engine cutoff, the Delta IV is burning propellant at a rate of 1,050 pounds per second and flying at more than 90 miles in altitude, 365 miles downrange, and traveling at a speed of more than 13,474 miles per hour. Main engine cutoff occurs at 5 minutes, 31 seconds. Seven seconds after main engine cutoff, the first stage is jettisoned. Ignition of the second stage engine takes place 13 seconds after stage separation. At 6 minutes 16 seconds, the service module fairing is jettisoned, followed by jettison of the launch abort system at 6 minutes 21 seconds. The first cutoff of the second stage engine occurs at 17 minutes and 17 seconds into the flight. The mission now enters an extended coast phase, lasting approximately 1 hour and 38 minutes. At 1 hour 55 minutes, the second stage engine is restarted for a short second and final burn. The burn will last approximately 5 minutes. Cutoff of the second stage engine occurs at just over 2 hours. The mission now enters a final coast period in preparation for Orion separation. The coast phase will last 1 hour 23 minutes. At 3 hours 23 minutes, the Orion spacecraft is delivered to orbit for Lockheed Martin and NASA.